smoked. It's a good brim. Oh, please don't go under the rock. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's Alex and you're watching Alex's Fishing. I hope you've all had a safe and happy new year and Merry Christmas. In today's video, we're going to be targeting black brim off these gorgeous clear water rock walls. As you can see, the water's just crystal clear. And uh, we're targeting the big spawning fish now. So most of these will be males that will be milking. And we're hoping for one over the kilo mark today. So fingers crossed, stay tuned, don't run away. So pristine, look at that. All right, so today I'm just using soft plastics and I've got four pound line, four pound liter, my apologies, and about eight pound main line, which is braid. Braid's extra sensitive, so I'm using braid and about two meters of four pound fluorocarbon down to my soft plastic. And I'm just using a squidgy biotuff in the wriggler uh, matched up with a 1 16th of an ounce jig head and it's a perfect weight for getting it down amongst the rocks there but it's not too heavy and I've got a 1 to 3 kilo rod and a 2500 size dial reel so let's chase some brim and hopefully we get onto a few all right guys so I've just rocked up here and I can see tons of brim feeding against the rocks I'm just gonna flop a cast in so this is my very first cast and uh, see what happens. Let it sink down to the bottom and uh, once it's hit the bottom just give it a couple of little twitches like so. And I'm just waiting to feel a little tick in the line. That's when I know I've had an inquiry. Nothing that cast but there's just so many fish there. Got to get one today. Oh, just missed one. There's one. Yep, hooked up to one. It's only a small brim. There we go. That was second cast and it produced this nice little brim. Have a look at that for a chunky little fish. <laughs> Very plump. Hopefully we get a few more like him, maybe twice the size. Off he goes. There's a whole heap of brim here. Let's see if I can't entice one. Reckon they're all in spawning mode. Oh, there's one. Come on. I'm not sure how big this one is. It's only a small tacker. Better brim's a brim. There we go. I did not feel him hit the bait. The lure, sorry. How small is that? But once again, really fat. So I reckon he started breeding already at this size. But get back to your business, buddy. <laughs> There we go, just hooked up to a brim. Storm ate it, right in front of me. That was so cool. Water's just that crystal clear, I sight casted this bad boy. Watched him feeding amongst the rocks with about 10 more. And uh, 
plucked the lure right in front of him and I saw him grab it. There we have it, another nice chunky brim. Not big by all means, but check out how fat and plump that fish is. Straight back she goes, he goes. She, he, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> Yep, there's a good brim. There's a good brim. Come on. No. Come on. Yes. Come back this way. Oh yeah, that's a better fish. It's the one we were after, hoping for. Oh, that's a nice fish. Pushing 40 centimeters. Oh, maybe mid 30s. A little bit overestimated. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, not a bad start. We'll try get it in here. We might be able to lift this. Yep, just like that. Would you look at that for a chunky fat brim? It's not a bad fish at all. I reckon he's about 35 centimeters. Crack a fish. There we have it. This gorgeous black brim from the rocks here. And uh, this one's a male because it's milking. Have a look at all the milk coming out. Oh, and I just touched it, that's gross. <laughs> There's a nice lovely brim on the squidgy biotuff. There she goes, like a rocket. Woo! Yep, there's one. Only a little tacker, but he's putting up a nice solid fight around the rocks. <laughs> Another little one. And once again, super plump. Nice fat fish. See you later. Oh, that was a cracker hit. Did you see the rod tip go boing? That thump was a brim hitting it. And it felt like a cracker fish too. I just saw a brim turning on the rocks there. Obviously feeding on the shellfish sitting on the rocks. So I'm gonna flop a cast right where I saw it. See if I can't entice it. And usually where there's one, there's a few. So hopefully one sees it and they all pack attack it. Yep, there's one. Yes, I called that for a fish. Oh, and it's a nice fish too. So, oh, bloody dropped him. No, you're kidding. I had a good glimpse of him and he was about the same size as the last one, so... Oh, that's unfortunate. I called that for a fish turning on the rocks and I had a cast into it and... It just proved it was a, a, a feeding fish. But spewing about me dropping it, pulled the hooks on him. I probably went a bit hard, but you got to go hard around these rocks here because they'll just dig their heads straight back in and bust you right off. I'm getting smoked. It's a good brim. Oh, please don't go under the rocks. Please don't go under the rocks. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I can feel him on the rocks. Oh yes, he's off the rocks. Come on, please, no. Oh, he's a good broom. He's a cracker broom. I can see him. Oh, holy crap. Please don't smoke me. Oh, please don't smoke me. Yes. Holy moly, this is a cracker broom. Oh, wait till you get a go at this guy. No. Oh, he's not ready yet. He's still running. He's about 40. Oh no, please don't fall off. Last one I hooked. Shook the hooks. Woo! No. Yes. Oh, no. Come on, big fella. All right, I'm gonna somehow land him right in here. Oh, look at that for a brim. That's a porker. That is an absolute porker. Oh. Uh. Come on. Oh. Look at that. Look at that for a cracker broom. Oh, I am speechless. That is an absolute horse right there. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that was such a tussle around the rocks on four pound line. And he's absolutely inhaled that plastic. Look at that down his gob. What a great fish. Wow. So this is the fish. I reckon he's around 42 centimeters. I've measured him against my rod. I don't have a measuring tape with me, easily over a kilo, but that is one absolute force of a broom. <laughs> Gonna get the hooks out and set her free. All right, go you good thing. See you later. <laughs> Straight underneath the rocks. Woo! Yep, there's one. And that's another cracker fish. Oh no, oh no, I'm getting smoked. See how he's going straight for the rock walls? That's what they all do. And this one, oh, this one's a horse as well. I'm gonna back that drag off. I'm scared he's gonna run me around a rock. Oh, it's another cracker. No, please don't run me around the rocks. And I'm afraid I'm gonna pull the hooks. It's either pulling hooks or he'll run me around the rock. So I just gotta play him with ease. And have a look at that for a cracker fish. It's another horse brim. Come on, you big girl. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, almost went around the rocks. And look at that for a brim. I'm scared I'm gonna pull the hooks on him. All right, I'm gonna have to find a way to land this baby. Come on. Please don't shake the hooks. All right, we got her in the crevice. Now I can reach her. Come on. Oh, yes. Look at that. Another cracker brim. Woo! And as I was saying, I could see him turning. And look at that. That's about the same size, if not a little bit bigger. I saw him turning on the rocks with these gnarly teeth. Have a look at those. Wouldn't want to get your fingers stuck in that. He's around 42 once again. And it took that squidgy wire top just on the paws, but look at that for a cracker brim. Woo! Nice big breeding brim. And this one's a male because it's been milking. 
as you can see there. What a lovely fish. Let's get some underwater footage. Yep, there's one. And it's another cracking fish. Not as big as the last few, but still a oh, high 30s, I reckon. Oh, he's around the rock. All right, he's coming up now. Here we go. I could probably lift this guy. Yeah, mid 30s, I reckon, this guy. Look at that, for a nice plump brim, awesome. Once again on that squidgy biotuff, so we'll get the hooks out. Nope, it's a male, milking once again. There we go. And straight back in. Oh, there was another brim that just turned right in front of me. I can see the silver flash when they turn. Oh, I just had a little tap there. Yep, I can see him turning. Got him. Yes, there's another one. Oh, this guy's only small. But it's still a brim. There we go. Nice sea running brim. Get this fella up and straight back in. There we have it. Nice and silver. And this one could be female because it's nice and fat. So straight back in. All right, so they've gone a little bit quiet on the squidgies. So I'm gonna switch it up to a Z-Man two and a half inch grub. And I'm pretty sure a brim will smash that. Just look at that in the UV light. Amazing. So I'm gonna whip that one out. And fingers crossed, a big brim jumps onto it. Yep. Oh, it's another good fish. Oh, just on that Z-Man grub. Oh, yes. Z-Man grub does the damage once again. There we go, it's another low 30s, mid, maybe. Look at that. So they sort of turned off a little bit and I threw this scrub on and um, obviously one grabbed it. I knew it would happen. One of my favorite brim lures, the old Z-Man grub in the motor oil color. And there we go, not a bad looking brim. Yep, once again around 34 centimetres I reckon. Just on that motor oil grub, two and a half inch. All right, back she goes. How disgusting can you be leaving all this junk for another fellow fisho to pick up? That's ridiculous. There's a bottle of soft drink, a carp frame that someone obviously used as crab bait, and uh, just, yeah, other bits and pieces, which is ridiculous. I'm gonna clean this up and uh, throw it in the bin later on. All right, so I've just filled this bag up with all their junk. Have a look at that. 
rope, dead carp, a few packets of lures and glow sticks. Pretty ridiculous. And uh, that's how I know it's a fisho, because they've got all that. Really bad. Thank you all for watching yet another mad video. We caught some bruising brim today. Uh, most of them were males because they were milking a lot, which means they were spawning. So most of the fish are spawning along here. And I'm not sure whether they were feeding on the little lures I was using or whether they were just hitting it out of aggression because I was getting too close to their space. Um, but we caught some bruising fish anyways, and that was awesome fun. Uh, once again, I hope you had a great Christmas and a New Year's, and I'm sure this year we'll hold some epic fishing. So. Um, thanks once again to my patrons and all my subscribers. I've got some awesome footage coming out next, uh, next video with some potential drone footage. So stay tuned for that.